everyone. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Seely's Kitchen. Live, 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 live this morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a great morning. I'm feeling great. I'm feeling fit. I'm feeling happy. No stress. Ah, oh, I'm telling you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this morning's live. So guys, this morning, I have a very special, special, special thing on my menu today. Yes, I have a surprise for you guys. I have some gift giveaways and may the best person wins. And this morning, guys, I'm starting out this morning with some, let me warm it up again. It was already boiling. I'm making some orange skin tea. Yes, orange skin tea so my skin can look pretty or continue to look pretty. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So I'm just boiling up my tea a little bit more, guys. And thank you for joining me from Bangladesh, my friend. You know who you are. So I'm just, you know, warming up my tea a little bit more. Um, let me get my Christmas cup. I've been drinking out of my Christmas cup all week. I don't know why. Just add a little color to Seely's Green Kitchen. All righty. So... My tea is over here brewing, and um, this morning, guys, I'm going to be making some tuna steaks. Yes, not tuna in the can, because I'm trying to run away from the salt, and you know the salt, there's a lot of salt in the tuna cans, so I thought of doing something from the can, and I decided that I am going to get some fresh tuna. So this morning, I went to ShopRite all the way in Brooklyn after dropping twine and I got me two nice tuna steaks. So while driving home, I decided that I'm going to be using my, whoops, I forgot it's hot, my Aisha curry grill pot to grill my tuna and, and I'm going to be making some waffles. Yes, I'm going to be making some plantain waffles. I just came up with the idea to use plantain to make my waffles today. She said, he said, you look so nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to be making some plantain waffles and some tuna steaks for break feast today. So stay tuned. Follow me over here. So let me drink some tea. All righty. So guys, I'm using... Some orange skin. This is not the dried one. This is a very fresh orange skin that I'm using. This is filled with antioxidants. I'm not adding sugar because as you guys know, I'm on a weight loss. And guys, I've already lost eight pounds. I don't know if you can see it, but I already lost eight pounds. I didn't wear my apron this morning for a reason just to show you guys that I'm trimming down and I'm so proud of myself. I've been going to the gym every day. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've been flushing my system and I, you know, it's just great. It's just awesome. Good morning, Shelly Ann, all the way from Jamaica. So let me sip my tea a little bit. Mmm, delicious guys. It's indeed delicious. Alrighty. So I'm going to start out this morning by mixing my waffles. And matter of fact, you know what? Let me season my meat. Let me season my tuna first. All right, guys, I need to grab a glove. Oops, my gloves are finished. All right, you know, I keep it real. So I'm gra grabbing a glove because, you know, for the sake of cross-contamination, you have to be so careful when you're dealing with fish in the kitchen. So I'm grabbing some rubber gloves to season my tuna. Hi, Diane. Good morning and welcome to Seely's Kitchen Live. So guys, I'm just putting on, you know what? I hate gloves, but I'm just going to put one glove on. Good morning, Sandra. All right, guys. I'm just going to use one glove. Let me put this over here. All right, so 
I have two nice pieces of tuna steaks right here. And I'm gonna start out by seasoning my tuna steaks. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be using some Goya adobo. And then I'm gonna be using some garlic powder, guys. Some black pepper. Some Mrs. Dash garlic and herb. And the last seasoning I'm going to be using is that Magic Seafood Blend by Paul. Yes, I love his seasonings. They're so good. And when you use some of his seasoning, guys, you don't even have to use salt. Everything is in most of his seasoning. But you know, I like my things well seasoned. Alrighty, so I'm just going to rub this up for a little bit in all of this seasoning right here all right so guys i'm going to cover this and i'm going to leave it to marinate for a few minutes and I am going to be making, I'm going to be making my batter for the waffle. So let me just rinse this glove off. Oops. Okay, guys, so just cleaning my hands. Good morning, Sister Hadley. It's nice to have you on my live this morning. So Audrey says, so finally took out back the waffle. Yes, I, fi I finally took out back my toy, um, Audrey. Because sometimes you get bored and you need new kitchen toys. Yes, so I took it out this morning. I decided since last night that I'm going to take it out. All righty. Okay, guys, so over here... I have one whole ripe plantain and I have a half of a green plantain. So to this, I'm going to be adding some unsweetened almond milk. All righty. So that's about a half a cup that I poured in and I'm gonna be blending away. So my milk and my plantain mixture is all blended. Good morning, Judy and Celie and the peeps. I say I love my life, man. It's always festive. All right. So just let me move this blender out the way so I get a little bit more space. And now I'm going to be plugging in my new toy so this thing can start warming up. All right, guys. So... This morning, I'm using Bob Mills all-purpose baking flour, and it's gluten-free. Yes, it's gluten-free, 
Bob Mills flour that I'm using this morning. I just emptied a whole pack in my gluten-free flour container. Alrighty, so let me get my measuring cups. Alrighty. So I'm looking for one three-quarter cup of gluten-free flour that I'm adding to this mixture. adding three quarter cups of gluten-free flour and then to the mixture I'm gonna be adding two eggs and then I'm gonna be pouring my mixture in the flour guys can't waste anything just going to make sure everything comes out of this blender. Why, guys, this, this smell like when you're making plantain porridge. Have a plantain porridge um, smell to it. All right, guys, so I'm just going to use my fork and whisk this around for a little bit. So guys, you know the, the, the rye plantain has its own unique sweet flavor. So I don't need to add much to the mixture. I don't need to add much to the mixture. So all I'm gonna be adding to the mixture, guys, is just a little bit of adobo. Just to, just to taste. And a little bit of garlic powder. Because, you know, garlic tastes good with plantains. I don't know if you guys know that. My sister-in-law, she's Hispanic. She's from Puerto Rico. And sometimes she will tell me about some of the things that she makes, you know, with plantains. And she did mention to me some time ago, like the great plant um, garlic in some plantain thing they're, they're making. And I've been trying it and I realize it adds a very great flavor to the plantain. Yes. So I'm adding this to my plantain waffles this morning. All right. One last ingredient, guys. One last ingredient. And I'm going to be adding just about two tablespoons of almond flour. And this is actually nuts, guys, that they powder um, into the form of a flour. So I'm going to be using, okay, this is equal to two tablespoons. So I'm using one of this. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna whisk this around, guys. The reason why I'm using this big fork, guys, because remember I did add the egg and I want everything to be whipped properly. All right, so I'm not adding baking powder or baking soda. It's not needed because I have one, you know, raisin agent in the, the mixture already, which is the eggs. So the eggs will just do everything. Good morning, Angela. Good morning, June. Woo, my life is festive this morning, guys. Ooh. And not to mention my friend from Bangladesh. I don't see Miss Joycey on the live this morning. Normally she's on. Alrighty, so I'm just going to rinse this in the sink. I'm just going to put this away. I'm going to leave a scoop because I'm going to need a scoop to put it um, on my waffle maker. All right, I'm just going to wash my hands again, guys, because, you know, cross-contamination. I have to keep washing. All right. So I'm going to let my waffle uh, mixture sit for a while, and now I'm going to go back to my tuna all right guys so let me turn this up a little more i already had my pot on so this morning guys i'm using 
Aisha Curry's grill pot. Yes, my favorite grill pot. So I'm using this to make my tuna steaks this morning. So I'm going to just um, take my marinated tuna steaks and I'm going to be greasing my pot with a little bit of grapeseed oil. Just a little bit of grapeseed oil. And before I drop it in the pot, guys, I'm just going to lightly flour it, you know, just so it doesn't really stick. Because remember, this pot has grits and sometimes things tend to stick. So I'm just going to lightly dust it with a little flour before I put it in. Just lightly. And this is gluten-free flour, by the way, guys. This is not regular flour. All righty. So, guys, I'm going to add these bad boys to my grill pot. So, you know, fish cook very fast. So I'm just going to leave it there to sizzle for a little bit. June said, that's a lot of oil. You said a little bit. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Trust me, June, it's a little bit of oil. It's not a lot. It looks like a lot, but it's not. Audrey said, oh, yes, you can eat the plantain waffles. Yeah. All right, guys. So over here, I have some chopped up peppers, some chopped up onions. So I'm going to treat this tuna steak like I'm cooking a, a nice piece of red meat. So, I'm, you know, I'm going to cook up my onions and stuff and just pour it on top when I'm done. Yes, I can't wait to see it and devour it. And, of course, a piece of this tuna steak is going to be for twine because I have to pick him up from one job today to take him to the other. So when I go to pick him up, he'll have brunch ready, hot and ready for him. Yes. So Twine is going to be partaking of this delicious meal today as well. June said no form of seafood. She said a tuna steak. Yes, it's tuna steak. And welcome to my live, Mr. Morrison. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, guys. So my tuna steak is sizzling. Um, I'm going to turn my fire down a little bit because, you know, you don't want it to burn. Because remember, I dusted it with a little flour. So I'm going to let it sit a little bit more on this the side that it's on. Because, you know, you want it, even though it's fish and it's, you know, it's cooking, you know, you want it to be cooked properly. You don't want a raw tuna steak. So I'm just going to leave it there and let it sizzle. All right, guys, let me get my spoon rest. Let me sip my tea. So the first prize this morning, guys, is a salad spinner. Is a salad spinner. And last week, I did ask questions about ingredients that I use, places that I shop, and it's going to be similar questions this week going to be similar questions this week. So, ah, uh, thinking about the question. Ah. Uh. Okay, so sometime last year, sometime last year, um, we had a cook-off. We had a family cook-off in Florida. We had a family cook-off in Florida. <laughs> Audrey said, you mean red market or yellow market? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to ask any yellow market questions today. Somebody else won the prize last week for the yellow market question. Okay, so sometime last year, we had a family cook-off in Florida. And let me turn my fish so it doesn't get burned. Boy, it really looks like a piece of steak in it, guys. It really looks like a piece of steak. It 
really has a steak look. And you could see like it's cooking, it's, it's half cooked on one side already. All right, so sometime last year, yes, sometime last year, guys, um, Hubby and I went to Florida for a family cook-off. If you can tell me what my team cooked at that family cook-off, you win this salad spinner from Sealy's Green Kitchen. It's a green salad spinner. And I'm not trying to turn you guys' kitchen into green, but if I'm giving away gifts from my kitchen, it has to be my kitchen color. So if you can tell me what I cooked at that cook-off, you win this prize. You win this prize. Turkey jerk. Oh no, June. Oh no, that wasn't what I cooked. I started it. Let me give you clues. And please don't go on YouTube now and cheat. I started it out on a on, on a on a stove top, on a range top, and then I finished it in the oven. If you can tell me what I cook at that family cook-off, you win this salad spinner. You win the salad spinner. Good morning, Monica. Good morning. If you can tell me what I cooked at the family cook-off, my team cooked, you win this salad spinner. Matter of fact, it's a two-part question because I prepared two meals on my team. So if you could tell me the two things that my team cooked, you win this salad spinner. And it was in December. So I'm giving you clues to the answer. It was Christmas Eve when we had that family cook-off. If you can tell me what my team cooked, then you win that salad spinner. So I'm cooking even the sides of my tuna steak, guys. I'm cooking the sides. I'm cooking the top and the bottom to make sure it's properly cooked. Because we don't want to eat. Okay, so Sandra Hyatt says it was jerk chicken. That's indeed correct, Sandra. And what's the other... Um, meat that I used. There was something else. It was jerk chicken and something else because remember it was a team effort. So my son was on my team. So if you can tell me what my son cooked, I did the jerk chicken and my son did the other thing. She said, but I have that green salad spinner. So I'll forfeit my prize. Oh, Shelly said she already have the salad spinner. <laughs> Ooh, the same color, Shelly. I hope it's, the, I hope it's green. So if you can tell me, it's a two-part question, you know. If you can tell me what my team cooked at the family cook-off, you will win the salad spinner. What was the other thing that was cooked on my team? Oh, she said exactly like that. She said oven roasted carnage. And June, I can tell you, don't watch my channel. Because if you were a watcher, you would be able to tell me what my team cooked at the family cook-off. Okay. So set so Audrey, so Sandra answered one of the questions, and my friend Monica answered the other part of the question on YouTube. Oh this is a difficult one. <laughs> Wow. I don't know how to split this prize. All right. You know what? You both, you both are winners. Sandra, I'm going give to give, give this to you. And Monica, I'm going to give you another one. I'm going to get another one. So you're both winners. So congratulations to Monica on YouTube and Sandra on my Facebook Live. They just won a salad spinner. So I'll get this to you, Sandra, through Audrey and Monica. I will definitely send you your salad spinner. Okay? So congratulations, guys. So I'm cooking all sides of my tuna steak. 
cooking all sides of it, guys. Because it's very thick. And you know, fish is easy to cook, but I just want to make sure there is no rawness inside when I cut it. All right, guys. So congrats to my two winners today. Congrats to my two winners today. All right, guys. So now that my tuna steaks is almost ready, I'm going to start making my waffles. Yes. I'm going to start making my waffles. Let me wash my hands again. All righty. Oops. And remember that this thing is hot. Okay, guys. So I'm going to be spraying my waffle maker with um some grapeseed oil so my waffles doesn't stick So when my waffle is cooked, then my green light will come on. She said, repeat what's in the waffle mix, teacher. <laughs> okay, what is in the waffle mix this morning, Audrey? It's one ripe plantain, a half of a green plantain, two eggs, three quarter cups of gluten-free flour, a little adobo, a little garlic powder, and I use about a half cup of almond milk to blend the plantain. And those are the ingredients. And of course, I use um, two tablespoons of almond flour. So those are the ingredients. All right, guys, my tuna steaks is looking so yummy already. I have to make sure this one is properly cooked because it's thicker than this one. So I have to make sure it's penetrated. I have to make sure it's properly sizzled, properly cooked. So guys, I can smell my plantain waffles bubbling over there. And right now I'm gonna get my platter ready because it's gonna be, mm, I, I can't even imagine how this is gonna taste today. So guys, I'm just gonna grab my platter and then, ooh, let me move this over here. All right, guys, so I'm just going to run and get a platter. I forgot to get my platter for my show. Oh, matter, matter of fact, I think I have one here. No, I have another one here. Again, I had another one in the corner. All right. So, guys, I'm going to take out my first piece of tuna steak. It's thoroughly cooked. It's thoroughly cooked, and I love this grill pot. And remember, it's fish, so it cooks easily. But because this piece is so thick, guys, I'm just making sure that there is no blood coming out of it. Let me cook this side some more. So, guys, I'm going to tell you how great this tastes this morning. She said, Julie Mango Teacher... How the steak go all in at the waffle? It's not going to go in the waffle, Audrey. I'm making planting waffle. It's not a sandwich. It will be on the side, and the waffle will be on the side as well. It's not going to be like a sandwich. Okay? Audrey thought I was going to put this between the waffles. No. It's separate. It's separated. I want to make sure this is properly cooked. Okay. 
leaving it a little longer guys i just want to make sure it's properly properly good she said oh teacher i think it was just a sandwich no audrey it's not a sandwich and julianne is laughing at you because she realized what you're trying to say all righty so let me sip my tea i always make my tea guys and it gets cold on the live but for those of you who are just joining me this morning i'm having orange peel tea and this is a very good source of antioxidant for the body yes and i'm on a weight loss guys so i do need that extra antioxidant she said don't burn it no i'm not burning it i'm just leaving it to sizzle for a little bit because i want to make sure it's thoroughly cooked i hate raw meat all right it is indeed cooked because i can see the juices coming out of it all right guys so in my grill pot i'm gonna be adding some pieces of pepper some pieces of onion And of course, guys, you want to lightly season this. So I'm adding some magic seafood seasoning on it. A little garlic powder. Let me turn the fan on. A little garlic powder. So I'm just going to saute this for a little bit. Oh, my waffle is ready. Oh, my waffle is ready. So I'm going to be making another one, guys. Sauteing my peppers and onions right here. I'm gonna add a little thyme to it because I like thyme. You know, Jamaicans we like to put thyme in everything. That's me. I like to put thyme in everything. And then I'm gonna add some tomato ketchup, some organic tomato ketchup, just a little bit. And then I'm going to squeeze a half of an orange. I already took out the seeds, so we don't have any seeds in our pot. All right. All right, this is looking great, guys. This is looking so great. And I know Twine is going to enjoy this today. Because I've never ever made this. So let me clean as I go along. I hate when my stove is messy. Let me wash my hands again. All right. So, guys, the moment of truth is here. <laughs> the moment of truth is here. And let me turn my fire off. So, my tuna steaks is ready. <laughs> Judy said, I want to pay attention in class. Yes, Judy, fix them for me. They're misbehaving. 
All my students in class is misbehaving. And I have a relative on the live, guys. Good morning, Corey. How are you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. So I, I want you to cook this for Nadine later. My cousin's joining me all the way from Florida, guys. All righty. So guess what? Breakfast ready. Breakfast is indeed ready. So I'm just pulling my waffles apart because, you know, these are nice and fluffy like the Belgian um, type waffles. So I have to pull them apart and then I'm going to plate this. All right, so I'm waiting on the next set of plantain waffles. Let me put this one in front because it's bigger. And then I'm going to be scooping this onto my platter. We don't want to waste anything. We don't want to waste anything. So guys, this smells like heaven in here. Woo, heaven on earth. You know, guys, I'm big on presentation, you know. I like when my platter looks good. I like when my platter looks good. And guys, you must have seen my pictures that I post. So guys, this is what Sealy's Kitchen look like this morning. So this is your tuna steaks along with your plantain waffles, yes planting waffles and tuna steaks and of course june i didn't burn my steak it's properly cooked and i'm sure it's gonna be tasting great she said teacher the student them want well, beaten because they're not alert <laughs> no man are you not learn audrey because you are i i already told you what the ingredients were and you asked me to repeat it it is indeed a pretty platter and Thumbs up, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for showing me some love. And if you really want to show some real love, send me some stars. <laughs> send me some stars. That's the real love. I'm just kidding. All righty, guys. So, tasting time. I'm going to get a spoon, a fork. And, of course, a knife. Took out the wrong spoon. Alrighty. So cutting time, guys. I think I'm gonna cut this one over here, the thinner one. So, guys, as you can see on the fork, it's properly cooked. It's thoroughly cooked. It's not raw. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. My planting over here needs attention. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, this is indeed delicious. And I'm going to be tasting my waffles. I don't need to put anything on it because, remember, it's ripe. So it has a little Swedish taste. So I don't need any syrup or anything. And because I'm on a weight loss, I'm not going to add any syrup or, or even butter to this. Mmm. Guys, 
guys, you need to try this recipe. This is out of the world. I'm telling you, it's delicious. I know Twine is going to be enjoying his food today. I'm just going to bring some Miss Polly Good Up Good Up to put on it. A little bit of ketchup. And his portion. So, guys, mm -mm -mm, before I run away and leave, you have to give away the other two prizes. Alrighty. Next question. Next question. Some time ago, I went to Florida. These are all Florida questions today. I went to Florida and I cooked in my daughter's kitchen. It's on it's on YouTube. It's a YouTube video. It's a YouTube video. Tell me what I cooked that day in my daughter's kitchen matter of fact i cooked her favorite meal if you can tell me what i cooked and if this is not at her new house this is at the, the old location if you can tell me what i cooked that day you win a taco holder you could put your wraps in it you could put your tacos in it. It's a nice little plate. June said, I cook a whole heap of things. <laughs> I like that answer, June. Hi, Noel. No, it wasn't salmon. It wasn't salmon. If you can tell me what I cook. Mm. If you can tell me what I cook that day. You win this taco holder. Ding, ding, June win. Ah, uh, no, June. I didn't cook a whole heap of things. Okay, let me give you clues. It was seafood. It was seafood. The display was in a blue plate. So if you remember that YouTube video um, with that thing on a blue plate, you win this prize. So if you can tell me what I cooked, then you win this prize. So let me start giving clues. It's seafood. Um, no, it wasn't shrimp. Crab and lobster. Uh, no, no. It, well, two persons on it is partially right. Partially right. So, ooh, who first said crab? Noel said crab. It's indeed crab that I cooked. That's why June said that she can't eat our members the seafood. <laughs> it was indeed crab. It was indeed crab that I cooked. So, Noel, you win again. So, Noel is the winner of this taco holder. You could either make your wraps and you put it in between the, the slots. Or if you make tacos, you could put it in. You know, you could put just about anything. It's a nice little summer plate. And yes, it was just crab. Mm -hmm. He said, I want that. Okay, I'm definitely mailing this to you, Noel. I'm definitely mailing this to you. So prize number three before I go. Prize number three before I go. And prize number three is this frying pan. It's a very good frying pan. It's very heavy. It's very thick. It has a, let me tell you what it says. Uh, it's water-based nonstick quoting. Um, it's induction base. It's um, shot blast textured finish because it kind of has a rough texture. It kind of have a rough texture. Alyssa, I will tell you where I get it after the show. I can't tell you by source on the live. I'll tell you after. No problem. I'll inbox you. All right. So the prize number three question. Um, when I did the water testing, right? And if I'm going to get this prize, boy, I'm going to know. When I did the water testing, There was a bottle of water. 
that was it, it, it when i tested it it was alkaline and i made comparison to that water and the one from bj's what was the name of the water that was alkaline no it wasn't essentia essentia was the top prize but what i'm trying to explain there was a particular water from a particular place and i compared it with the water, bj's water it's like a cheap water but it was i was surprised that it was an alkaline water what is the name of the water and where did i purchase it essential was the winning water but there was a particular water that i was shocked about that it had so much alkaline in it tell me the name of the water and tell me where i bought it tell me where i bought it so it's a two-part question to win this heavy frying pan it's a two-part question where did i purchase that water because i did say where i purchased it okay costco is indeed right audrey and what's the name of the water what's the name of the water you have part of the question correct audrey costco is indeed the place what is the name of the water just think about all the water that costco sells not poland spring not mm, not but mm. um yeah but what's the name of their brand it has a name it's their brand but it has a name what is the name you you answer the part of the question <clears throat> i'm gonna give clues <clears throat> i'm gonna give clues it starts yes it's indeed kirkland so audrey is the winner of this fry pan today so she did answer the two-part question it was a kirkland water and it came from costco's so audrey is the winner of this fry pan today audrey congratulations congratulations so guys <clears throat> something that choked me if you liked what we cook in Celie's kitchen today i want you to like this video share this video and if you're not yet subscribed to my youtube channel i don't know what you're waiting on guys i'm about to hit 3k yes i'm about to hit 3k so guys share up the videos like the video and share them up with your friends and make and comment on the videos guys guys i need you to comment on my videos leave a comment say something about the dish tell me if you like it Tell me if I could have done something better. Yes, critique me. And good morning, Antoinette. Thanks for joining the live when I'm leaving. I tried to give your gift to your husband this week, but he wouldn't answer his phone. I still have your gift. <laughs> I still have your gift, Antoinette. Oh, Antoinette is late and I know why. Antoinette works hard. She works at nights and she's tired. So I know she can't join me sometimes, but whenever she does, yeah, she 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 really participate. Me don't like it. Me can't eat it. What you can't eat, June? I, I have some unruly children in my class today. <laughs> okay, so congratulations, as Sandra say on the live to all the winners who joined in thanks for the participation and i'm gonna run away and leave you so as jamaicans would say what good so i want everybody on this live today before you leave this live just send me some hearts some stars i don't care yep June says, yes, me allergic to seafood. Oh, Jesus. These, 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 these children in my class, I'm, call, I'm calling you children today. Anyway, guys, I have to run away. I have school later on tonight. Yes, I have a class in the city tonight that I have to go. So I have to do all that I have to do today. And then I have to run on to class. So take care of yourself and big up on yourself this week. I walk good and tomorrow. Make sure y'all find the house of the Lord and go worship on a God. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.